Mr. Clark appeared opposite radio host Martha Kearney on BBC Radio 4's Today programme when he made a desperately convoluted attempt to redirect the conversation away from an impending no deal. Ms. Kearney asked, what are you going to do about it because the deadline is looming and are you going to reduce most tariffs in a no deal scenario? The Tory minister began, well, so we've been consulting with different industry sectors on this because it has big implications. For different sectors, ceramics is an industry that I know very well. It has been subject to very unfair competition to dumping. Of very cheap ceramic exports from the Far East from China, confused by the bizarre tangent, Ms. Kearney snapped, I'm sorry to press you on this but businesses around the country, and this is your departmental responsibility, are very concerned to know what you're actually going to do about it given how close we are to the deadline. Pausing, Mr. Clark stuttered. We haven't published the tariffs, Brexit news. Business Secretary Greg Clark made the comments on BBC's Today programme this morning. Image. Getty, but Ms. Kearney had no time for this shooting back. I know you haven't published it, but Jill Rutter from the Institute for Government Think Tank has said that this is amazingly negligent that you haven't come forward with your proposals on this, but Mr. Clark again attempted to change the subject. No, I think they would apply in the event. If no deal, that is clear, there's going to be a big debate in Parliament next week to approve the deal. I hope that will get through, but Ms. Kearney reminded him, OK, but that's touch and go at the very least, the very next day you're going to be voting on no deal, so what's going to be happening to tariffs? So in the event that we don't have a deal then of course Parliament will then have a debate as to whether we apply for an extension of the Article 50 period, and so this would only apply if we leave without a deal on the 29th of March, and in those circumstances, the work is continuing on developing and finalising those tariff schedules and they will be published, and exasperated Ms. Kearney asked, when, once we knew that we were leaving without a deal on the 29th of March, came the reply. Listeners flocked to Twitter to express their outrage. One user blasted, Greg Clark's performance on hope for an extension, both unlikely. Only then, when the deadline can be measured in hours, will they publish. How can businesses plan? Clark was one of three ministers who recently threatened to defy Theresa May and force an extension to Article 50. Mid fears of a disastrous no-deal scenario, he was joined by Mail, Work and Pensions Secretary Amber Rudd, and Justice Secretary David Gauke. Tariffs on a large majority of goods imported into the UK could be cut in the event. If a no-deal Brexit, it has been reported, the sweeping reduction would see tariffs slashed on between 80% and 90% of imports in an effort to prevent prices rocketing for consumers and signal the UK is an open economy, according to Sky News. The move would reportedly mark the largest single liberalisation of the British economy in history.